Hey everyone, Gabe here from drumbeatsonline.com, a website that helps you become a better drummer. Today we are going to learn how to get a fat, punchy snare drum. But before we jump into that, I wanted to let you guys know about my brand new drum lesson course called The Secrets of Drum Tuning. In this lesson pack, I go over everything that I know about drum tuning, whether it's general knowledge of how to tune a drum effectively or how to get really cool, unique sounds like getting a really low, beefy snare drum or a high, cracking snare drum, how to make your tom sound different and how to tune them to different genres as well. So if you want, I'd make sure to check it out right up here or in the link in the description below. With that being said, let's jump into today's lesson. So today's drum lesson might be a little bit of a shorter one because I'm literally just showing you what I personally do to get a really fat and punchy snare drum. So the most important and vital key to this whole thing is going to be our resonant head. So let's flip over our snare drum real quick and start from there. So the first thing I'm going to do on the resonant side is I'm going to put a piece of dampening somewhere. And the reason for that is when it comes to having a really meaty snare drum, I don't want it to have a lot of sustain. The point is that it's supposed to be a, like a loud thuddy punch and it's in and it's out and you feel it in your chest but it doesn't ring on for forever. So to get rid of that sustain right off the bat, I'm going to put a piece of dampening right on the resonant side. For me, I just use a piece of gaff tape and I literally just pick a random spot. But for you, it could be whatever you want it to be really. Now, when it comes to actually tuning the resonant head, this is going to be the most important part to getting that attack, that punch that you want out of your snare drum. And it's actually kind of counterintuitive. What I do is I tune my resonant head on my snare drum really tight. I'll show you what it sounds like real quick. So having a tight resonant head is going to be key here. So what I do personally is I take my drum key and I tune each lug a full two rotations. So this is going to be one rotation and we're going to do that twice. And normally just a general tuning tip, um, I tune each lug and then I tune the one across from it. So you kind of move in diagonal lines that way. So uh, I would recommend starting off with two full rotations on your resonant head. Now, let's flip this thing back over. The third thing that I would do from here is I would actually loosen the snare wires just a little bit. If you have your snare wires tightened all the way up, you're going to get a choked sound. But if you loosen them just the slightest amount, it's going to add a little bit of breath and air into your drum, which as a result is going to give your drum more body. So I would recommend experimenting with your snare wires here. It's going to be very dependent on your snare drum how loose or tight you should have them. So make sure you experiment with that. So now we are finally ready to work with the batter head of the snare drum. I feel like so many people think the key to getting a fat punchy snare drum is to only mess with the batter head. But for me, it's actually the last step in the whole process. So if you are familiar with the secrets of drum tuning, you will know the four step process to tuning a drum. So in this case, we are going to grab the first step of that process and that's going to be starting from scratch. So I don't want you to just tune down your drum from where it is right now. What I want you to do is tune it down all the way. So unscrew all the lugs. That way you can start from a nice even place and then we can tune it up from there. So let's unscrew all these lugs and start from scratch. What we want to do from here is get to a nice even place with our tuning rods. So we are just going to turn all of them as tight as we can just with our fingers. And again, I would recommend tuning them uh, diagonally. So as you go, you are putting even tension around the whole drum. So let's do these finger tight real quick. Now we can bust out our drum key and actually start tuning the drum. So what I would recommend doing first is just a half turn on each lug and see where that puts us. Let's try it out. 
So from there, you're probably gonna have some uneven frequencies. So then you're just going to tap around each lug to find the uneven frequencies and try to tighten what needs to be tightened and loosen what needs to be loosened to make everything somewhat even. So check it out, look, some of these are uneven. You can tell that first one was higher pitched than the second one. So I'm gonna even out some of those and then see where we go from there. So after spending a little bit of time getting those pitches nice and even, now we have a really fat and punchy snare drum. Check it out. So, sounds pretty fat and punchy to me. And what's really cool about this is that there's no dampening on this snare drum yet whatsoever. I'm sure a lot of people right from the beginning are just thinking, why don't you just put a big fat snare drum on or put an old snare drum head on top of it. And while those things are really cool, they affect the tone of the snare drum so much. They take away a lot of the attack of a snare drum, which can add a lot of the meat in the thud of a fat snare. So that's why I like to do this first without any dampening. But if you wanna start messing around with those things, you really can. One way that I really like to continue this fat snare drum sound without losing attack is just putting a single sheet of paper on the snare drum. Like seriously, just a normal sheet of paper. I'll show you how it sounds with the paper and without. So it takes away just a little bit of the sustain, but keeps a lot of that attack and almost gives it a cool vintage sound. If you liked this lesson, I am 100% confident that you are going to love my new lesson course, The Secrets of Drum Tuning. If you want, you can check it out right here or in the description below. We go over so many different things to transform the way that your drum set sounds. We go over stuff like fat punchy snares, classic rock sounding snares, jazz sounding snare drums, we can turn your toms into big boomy toms or higher pitch toms. We go into all sorts of experimentation with different dampening techniques and we teach you how to tune your drums in the first place. Some of the best practices to get your drums sounding amazing and the way that you want them to sound. So guys, thank you so much for watching this lesson. Highly encourage you to check out the lesson course. And if not, I will see you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.